Sports World. It's your man's T.A. and G. Shorty coming to you live from Noble Sports Entertainment. Testing, testing, one, two, testing. G. Shorty, are you there? And can you hear me? What did we see in week one, boy? Woo! Well, we saw a lot, man. We saw a lot. What did we see, boy? NFL action, baby. Yo, guys, so we had the Detroit Lions starting off, kicking off the season with the Matt Patricia era. Crazy game for the Detroit Lions. What you got and what you think about that, G Shorty? Man, <laughs> let me tell you, man, I, 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 I thought I was going to see a lion and a Cessna, but I seen a cub and wow. a true jet. <laughs> because yeah. the, your boys, yeah. they went hunting without yes. the king of the jungle because they don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Man, don't hurt my feelings like that, man. Do not hurt my feelings, man. Oh, man, what's up, guys? Man, we're back to y'all with another exciting week, man, um, in the NFL. Getting it kicked off with the Matt Patricia era in Detroit. The Lions lose on national TV 48-17 to against the New York Jets. They went flying into the stadium and flew right back to New York. I cannot believe it, G Shorty. Well, they were just like the Steelers. I mean, hey, the Steelers came to town. Yeah. They brought aluminum instead of steel. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Oh, oh, okay, so, so, so what difference does it make? Man, yeah, what, that game ended we, up we, in the tie, man. man we, we, I mean, we the stuff that we've seen, we would expect it, the competitiveness of the game, we didn't see much of that. You know, the, the Chargers. And the Chiefs, wow. The Chargers discharged. Yes, man, the Chiefs ran all over the, the Cheetah. You got a man by the nickname of the Cheetah, Tyreek Hill, was explosive man. against these the, guys. The boys are looking good. I mean, the Chiefs looking good. Yeah. You know, it's and, only week one, though. Only week one. Only week one. And, 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 you know, we are here in Arizona. Yes, yes. Yes, well, yes I we mean, are. What's going on with the Cardinals, man? Oh, man, I don't know. They have The Cardinals have not left the nest yet, man. I don't know what's going on with the Cardinals. Never got off the ground. Never got off never the got ground. Off, never got off the ground, that score, man. I mean, that score was 24-6. Uh, to six. Offense could not get it going into the fourth quarter, man. 24 to 6, man. I thought that we would have saw a little bit more of David Johnson and a little bit more of uh, uh, Larry uh, Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald, but you did yeah. not see yeah. that. I don't know. It's starting a little rocky for Sam Bradford. I don't know. Do you throw the rookie in right now? Nope, 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 nope. Okay, yeah, so you got, got to wait, man. So you, you, don't, you don't hit the pennant button. You, you got to play the hand. You get a man too much money. Right, right, right. You, you got to play the hand. And, and, you know, talking about my boys, the Raiders. Yeah. And, you know, uh, uh, Gruden and the boy yeah, fell yeah. into their own black hole. Yes, 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 oh, yes, they yeah, did. Yes, they yeah, did. You know, it, it's just like uh, crazy. I said I gave them eight games. Yeah, they ain't gonna see six. Oh, you're giving them that many games? That's it. That's wow, it. Wow, yeah. They, and that's that final score was, I believe, thirty-three to uh, thirteen. Crazy. The Rams came in there and handled business, man. They, they did what they're supposed the Ram, to do. I, one thing I want to say about the Rams is the okay, Rams yeah, do yeah, look. The Rams do look like a competitor and uh, uh, somebody they, that they, they can see for a Super Bowl run. They, they do, man. I mean, they, they defense looks solid. Uh, 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 they, 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 well. they offense is playing pretty well, and they're very confident. Man, Todd Gurley, man, rushed playing, over playing 100 yards against those guys. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, yeah. man. The Raiders. The Raiders did okay. They, they, their defense held up. They just, like I said, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, Derek Carr, man, he's full of interceptions. But this is mind. something that I couldn't understand. They they uh they uh, released Martavius Bryant, and then they decided to bring him back. What was all that about with the Raiders? What's going on? Uh, it, it, that's just merry-go-round. Okay, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> and, and John Bruton is uh the operator. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's, that's all I can so say. So it's like being on the carousel. <laughs> that, that's all I can say. So so my question to you is this. Yeah. Is it time to hit the alarm clock on some of these teams? Man, I don't know. I can't. I, I don't want to. I don't want to hit the clock just yet because it's only week one, and sometimes week one always scares uh, teams that lose. Um, just because your team lost in the first game of the regular season, that does not mean that we need to hit the alarm or hit the panic button. We don't need to do. Well, that, that, that's that's true, and I and I agree. And and it, there's for you out there, there's no reason for you to get all excited. Right, right. Basically, we're talking with a lot of emotions here because you know what? And, <laughs> we're high on football. And, and, and we high on, we high on football. <laughs> yeah. But, but but the thing about it, no, there's no reason for it. You know. Yeah. Give us some time. I say after the fourth game. Yeah. It, you know what? They still where they're at. <laughs> yeah. You you no. should you should go to that alone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now I want to talk a little bit about I want to go with the Matt Patricia era a little bit more Go ahead, go into Because it, pretty much Matt Patricia is taking over a team and a culture That has never won it Has never won anything So by uh, him taking over a team like Detroit Lions Man, you know 
I don't know what Matt, when I seen Matt Patricia on the sideline, he, he was looking like you know, why did I take this job? You know? I, I, I tell you, to you, I, you know, the thing about it is that he has a tough job. In yeah, the he court. got a tough job. He got a tough court. job. He's trying to bring a winning culture there, man. And you know what? It's a mindset thing. Right, right. Because and, we, and, and I just don't, I just don't at this time, I just don't see it with your boys right now. I don't think it's gonna happen this year. Man, one thing that I noticed in the game when I watched that game on Monday night is that the offensive line. They didn't. They didn't allow Matthew Stafford to get sacked a lot, but man, did Matthew Stafford get punished. So instead of Matthew Stafford looking like a ten-year veteran out there, he looked like the rookie, and but, Sam Donald yeah. looked like the veteran. Yeah, What's going but, but, on? But wasn't they problem last year? The front line they yeah. couldn't run. Yeah, we couldn't. So run. what did they go get? They go get running backs. Running backs. Yep. And we still and they're not running the running back. They it, were winning. It's just win, like the Cardinals. Winning draft. Yeah. It's just like the Cardinals. You go get everything else. Yeah. But what what's gonna you need to get you through the season? Right, right. A front that's right. line, a good front line. You gotta have yeah, because you know the man you talked about that, G Shorty. That yes. Basically, the trenches is where the war is won at in the NFL. It is, man. You gotta have good defensive linemen and you gotta have a good offensive line. Tom Brady, Tom, Tom Brady is the perfect example. Yeah. You know whatever it takes to protect his backside. He yeah. don't mind de-escalating his contract right. to get that person in there. Right, right. And that's good so, that you do say that because I believe that the NFL. And a lot of quarterbacks, and you know, don't get me wrong, I definitely think that quarterbacks should be paid the money, um, some money. But I don't think that they should take the overall salary of the team because it's hard to infuse talent on the team when the quarterback is taking majority of the profits. You know what I mean? Well, you know what the thing about it, we talked about that at the beginning of the year as well. Yeah. It's the fact that let's see what these teams going to be made of. Yeah. We don't have the finances to spread it. Right, right, exactly. And, and, and regards exactly. to that, in regards to that, because of that, mm-hmm. so – what type of football do you think we're gonna be looking at this year? Wow, man, that's an interesting. I think this is gonna this season right here is gonna be mixed emotion for a lot of NFL fans. And the reason wow. why I'm saying that is because I just think that right now we're on a week one roller coaster, and then you know we always get brought back down to earth. I, you know, the thing about it is, G, I, I, TA, I, I mean, like I, what I'm looking at is the fact that you got a lot of uncertainty in the NFL right now. You got what? Seven new coaches, yeah. all of them went 0 and 7. Yeah. Okay. Then you got these major contracts that, that just basically wow, boggles so, your mind. So none of the new coaches won a game this not, week? Not, not, none of them, man. Wow, so oh, they, 0 and 7. First wow. time in history. But the thing about it is the fact that there's so much uncertainty in the game, man. Yeah. And, and so right now, what we're looking at is like, you know, uh, who's who. And yeah. basically, you know, uh, uh, uh. Expectation, what you're going to get. Nobody right. knows. Right, yeah. You definitely don't know. No, nobody knows at this point. You don't know. You don't know what you're going to get this season. Definitely, I, This season is definitely one of them seasons that I'm going to say I'm going to marvel over because I'm surprised of what's going to happen out on the field this year. I just don't know. You know, and, and you know, looking at some statistics, you know, what really boggles my mind, uh-huh. T.A., is this, is that out of the 27 contracts this year that was given out. Yes, sir. 27 teams mm-hmm. paying out $615 million, only 32% earned a paycheck. Wow. Last week. Yeah. Okay. So and, you're talking about and, likes of guys like Khalil Mack and things well, like that. Well, and, and not only that, but only 52% of the Aaron winning Rogers. completion record occurred in week one. Yeah. So so the thing about it is that what we're getting mm-hmm. as, as friends yeah. and, 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 and as watchers of the game is yeah. that we we getting basically is uh, 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 just a, a hot air balloon at this point. Okay, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. I, I mean, see what you're saying. And, 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 and and the thing about it, I, I don't know if it's gonna be enough mm-hmm. to really actually compete against the college level this year. Wow. So, I, you, I don't so okay, so you're saying what you're trying to tell us is that the college football season probably is gonna be a little bit more excitement. But, a but little as, bit a, more. as a result, as a result of uh, uh, of the NFL, yeah, is that. The college tickets are going up. Right, right. Okay, as a result of the, the we don't have the competitive game that yeah. we expect to see. Right. We, we have over officiating in the game. Okay. We have owners that have their hand stamped all over the game. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, and, and and thing about it is that then you got a product that basically you don't want to be touched. And some of them out there that showboats. Mm-hmm. All I want is a good competitive game. So I don't. I'm at this point. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I love, I love the NFL. Yeah, I love, I love it too. the NFL. I love it too. And, and we've we seen it in some of the games that we seen last week. Yes, yes. I mean, we. I mean, I, I picked the Saints. Yeah. Basically, to, wow. to win it all. 
Yeah, yeah, and they. And now, now I, you know, because yeah, it's, it's only first one game, game. It's only but one it's only game. one game. But the thing about it is that uh, Tampa Bay put up forty-eight, 48 points. Forty-eight points. Forty-eight at, points at, without in, in New Orleans. In New Orleans. So, so the thing about it is that you know, and and, and, and it's just Mike right. Evans. Mike Evans and Deshaun Jackson had a field day against that defense, and nobody predicted that that was going to happen because you. Don't know any given Sunday anything can happen, and you didn't know that the uh, the Bucks were going to take it to the Saints. You definitely didn't know that. I didn't know that, but one thing I do know is the fact that it's some good college ball out there, guys. Mm-hmm. And basically tonight we're going to be looking at ASU against San Diego State. Yes, you know, and they right now two zero moved in the twenty twenty third ranking. Yes, what else good it, games you got out there? Yeah, you know that that that's that happened to be one of the games. Boise State and. I was just looking at that between mm-hmm. them and Brigham Young, and yeah. hey, they seven and seven, seven seven. Okay, and that, that that that's a good game out there. Yeah, got, yeah. LSU, got LSU against Auburn. That's going to be a good, you know, uh, a matchup out there. So the thing about it is some good college ball out there, and you know the NFL basically this year. You know what? Hey, we're yeah. going to find out. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We're going to find out that the owners create a hole too big. Yes. They create many black holes. Wow, wow. You now, know, they create many black holes that, yeah, yeah. you know what, they're falling into. So, uh, are they going to be able to get out of them? Yes, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I got a game that I want to present to you on today. Okay. I want to talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers against the Cleveland Browns because that was one of the most impactful and exciting games. I thought that the, uh, that the Cleveland Browns would put it off, but they ended up missing a field goal at the end. And tying the game, and both teams walked out. Now, something that you said last week in the uh, in the show last week, you said that that game would be even, and that's what pretty much happened. That uh, game was even. It was even, and the thing about it, unfortunately for the people of Cleveland, I would have loved to see Cleveland pull it out because you know what? Hey, it, you know yeah. what? Yeah. All last week. Yeah. The guys. They got the big contracts, and the ones that the the the, the, uh, the, mm-hmm. the quarterbacks. Yes, sir. They look old, man. Wow. In, 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 in the first part of the season, they look old. Big Ben, yeah, look old, man. Yeah, you know. So the thing about it is, uh, for Cleveland, yeah, they played a great game. They played a good game, man. They, I mean, it, it, especially it, it, in, in in the standards that Cleveland has, yes. uh, they're they're trying to put out there for everybody. And and, uh, and that's why they are also on uh, 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 tomorrow. Yeah, they're hmm. gonna be cable tomorrow as well. So okay, so okay. ESPN is carrying. The Cleveland game Brown. because everybody probably wants to see. I know I do want to see them do good. Yeah, I want to see. I definitely you know, want to see Cleveland. I, but I don't know. Do I don't know. They might have to go with Mayfield a lot earlier than and anticipate it because you know Ty- Tyrod Taylor. Yeah. You know, God man, he threw the ball <laughs> for over 40, 40 times, man. Yeah. And his I think he had. A, I think he had a couple of touchdowns. He had. A, I know he had a touchdown. I think did he run one in? Yeah, he ran it. He ran but, it. but but the thing about it is that. Uh, 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 Pittsburgh is in some trouble. You know, the thing about it is Big Ben is going to be out this week with an elbow problem. Oh, I did not know that. Wow. And then you also got basically, a, you know, Le'Veon. Yeah. The, he's still the, holding out. He's still holding out. So, yeah, still a so, situation so I got them losing. Still... I got them losing, you know. Okay. You know, tomorrow. Okay. But, but the thing about it is that Cleveland... Mm-hmm. The only thing I say to the Cleveland fans out there yeah. is the fact that, hey, you know what? You guys got something to look forward to and look up to because, yeah, you know what? You guys can – the stillness is, is, is there for you guys. Yes. They can only go up. Yeah, yeah, definitely, man. With the Cleveland Browns, I definitely think the ceiling is high for those guys. Hugh Jackson did a great job of bringing them guys and making sure they was prepared. Even though the fans wanted to win, I know that they wanted to win bad and they had an opportunity to win. But missing that field goal at the end really hurt the Cleveland Browns for sealing the victory that they should have had against the Steelers and shocking the Steelers in game uh, week one of the uh, National Football League. But definitely, man, it's a lot of exciting things going on as well. It was another exciting game that I saw was the Chargers and the Chiefs. The Chargers and the Chiefs, man. man. The Cheetah, man. Have you heard of this guy, Tyreek Hill? He put on a show in L.A., man. He put on a show in L.A., man. One thing I want to say, too, I want to talk about their quarterback. Patrick Mahomes is looking like he's ready to take over the face of the NFL. The guy is good. Well, you know, like, like again, like my philosophy is basically is that, hey, give him a year. But yeah. the thing about it right now, he looks, he's looking impressive. He's looking impressive, He's looking yeah. impressive. But we know about what happened when pressure 
you get closer to the postseason, then right. you determine, you really see what these guys are really made of. Yeah. But right now, he's looking quite impressive. Mm-hmm. And, and the offense know is gelling, looking yeah. good. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, so, but but the thing about it is that, hey, you got to give it a year. You got to give it some time yeah. and just let it mature. Because, yeah, this is his first year starting. Yeah. So, yeah. And, yeah, and these, guys, these guys are not under no contract, so it's just, hey, they playing for one. Right, right. So, He's and, playing and, definitely and, to get and, paid eventually. Well, he, he, that's a good way to start. Mm-hmm. I agree with you. Him, totally. and, him and Donor, that, that's a good way to, to, to start. It's to start with a win. Mm, yes, you know? yes, so, sir. Uh, uh, so, but, you know, but, but T, I, I, I tell you, though. Yeah. It, it's that there's just some things that have actually confused me. What's that? What's that, G Shorty? You know, have, have confused me. Uh-huh. And the fact that when I look at these games now. Yes. Do you get the impression that the players are coaching or the coaches is coaching? Well, it, it could be either or. You know what I mean? You know, it, it depends on the, if the players are playing for the coach or if the players are playing for themselves. And you want you want a team to be able to play for themselves and also for the coach. Because when, when we step out on that field and perform every Sunday, we're not just doing it for ourselves. We're also doing it for our city. We're doing it for the fans. We're doing it for us as a unit, as players out there on the field. Um, and we also trying to make our coach look good as well. That's our job as players, to make the coach look good. If the players don't go out on the field and perform, the coach will not look good. And, every, and guess who takes the blame of it? Guess who the scapegoat is? Always the coach. Always, always the, the coach. coach. You know, I, I, you know, um, uh, for you out there, basically, hey, give us your opinions. Yeah, you know, yeah, let us know guys. what's going on, man. Speak up, step up, speak yeah, up. Give us, give us, us know, anything, guys. You know, want to talk let, about? Let us definitely. know that basically is that you know what? Hey, this game is not what it's supposed. What it is? What would you intend it to be when right. you started this year? Right. You want it to be competitive. Right. Yeah, you definitely it, want it, that. It's just now all of a sudden, you know, let us know that basically, hey, you know what? What's going to help? Not only the viewers. Enjoy the game, but you as an individual, right? Exactly. You know, exactly. So you know. Now I got something else that I want to talk about, okay. G Shorty. Hey, I want to talk about Aaron Rodgers getting hurt against the Chicago Bears and coming back on the field and winning the game against the Bears. The Bears were up twenty to nothing and uh, and decided to allow Aaron Rodgers to start throwing lasers all over the field. He played. I, I don't know if he played like he was hurt. Went to the locker room, came back out, and he was Superman when he came back out. So what do you want to talk about that Chicago well, well, and that, uh, well, that Green Bay game? A game it was a goes, good game though. Goes back again. Yeah. Coaching. Yeah. You got a you got a one a first year coach. Yeah. Okay. And and, and basically you got a man that's hobbling. Yes. Okay. On one leg. And, and what I see is that Chicago try to play conservative, try to conserve the game. Right. When you can't do that against you know, Green Bay, you got to step and, on the And the thing about it, you're playing in yes. Green Bay. Yes. Okay, and, and my thing about it is that you the, keep the pressure on continuously, yep, step on that offensively gas pedal. and defensively. Yep, yep. They didn't do that. When they and, got, they, and they dominated the first half. The defense the dominated. The first three quarters. Yeah, yeah, they dominated. The first three quarters. So Raiders, what are you doing letting go Khalil Mack? You see, you saw what Khalil Mack did. Khalil Mack is a playmaker, man. I don't care what anybody says. You saw the guy get a pick six and also got a, a script sack as well. That is crazy, guys. That is bananas, man. But Raider fans, hey, but, what are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. Raider Nation. <laughs> Raiders is always writing checks they can't cash. <laughs> but 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 the thing but the thing about it is the fact that he was quite impressive and yeah, not, Mac not to be fully conditioned. Can you imagine if he was fully conditioned for that game? Wow. Woo, so man. so you saying basically Khalil Mack went out there with just his talent alone. He and, went, and, was, and went out there and took care of business. You, you just wait as the season progresses. So now, now the man's gonna be a busy. Is he, is he is he earning his paycheck? I think so. The first, he's one of them <laughs> that earned their paycheck last week. Yes, he did. He, yes, he, he did. He, he's one of them. Aaron yes. Rodgers earned his paycheck, paycheck yes, last did. week. So yeah, so guys, in that game, uh, some of them are doing a lot of early withdrawals. Okay, <laughs> they, they not earning their paycheck, man. So no, Aaron right. Rodgers led the team come back, guys. Uh, twenty four. To 23 victory over the Chicago Bears. The Bears fans got a lot to be excited about about that defense in Khalil Mack. Definitely, he is a, he is as advertised. He is a stud. He is a playmaker. He's the type of player that you want on, on your defense. He's the type of guy you want to go to war with. And what all you right. got to say I, about that, Chief? All right, he you know hey like I said uh, uh he leads. Yes, you know and, and Chicago will follow. Yes, yes, and they will get better. Yes, a- a- ain't no doubt about that. Yeah. They 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 will get better. Mm-hmm. I mean uh. I have to say something about 
the Cardinals. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. You know, I know we we just hit on them briefly, this one but, cut, baby. but but I, you know, it, it's God, it's man. Sometimes just looking at certain teams, it, it's just that you just have no clue as to where they're at. Right, whether right, they bring exactly. a new coach in, whether they bring new players in. Right, right. It just you just because Cardinals, Cardinals did all of the above, right? I mean, you got a new coach in uh, from Carolina, the uh, defensive coordinator Steve they, Wilkes. Yeah, they they, they but. Their performance, yeah, was pathetic. It was. It, it was. It, it, it's like because you expect more out of them you expect, at home. At home, yeah, against the Redskins, I definitely expected more out of the Cardinals. I thought that I would, that we would actually see uh, Sam Bradford out there manage the game, and, and that, that did not happen. That right there is going to be an issue. That's going to be an issue. Yes, yes. You paid the man over twenty million dollars something to bring him here. Yes. When do? You say it's time to move on. Well, I'm going to say like this for the Cardinals. If, if Sam Bradford can't get it done in the, the next three to four games, it's time to think about putting that rookie out there and letting him face the Wolves out there. I think Josh Rosen is definitely one of the, one of the quarterbacks that is NFL ready. And, uh, hey, man, you got to see what you got on your team. So I definitely think that uh, Sam Bradford is a decent quarterback. But from what I saw in week one, I don't know. They might have to go back to the drawing board. Now, before I close with the last thing that I'm going to talk about is the fact that I want to know I want to know something about because somebody asked me about it and yeah. you know they they talked about young kids you know uh, yeah. uh, how can you better equip them for the game of football mm -hmm. and some of the things that I said uh, was basically observation you know yeah. watching the kid and, watching the kid and, yeah. and, and basically actually uh, 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 putting them in a position to mm -hmm. understand the game yeah uh, uh, and understand the skill set what, what what do you say about that you got kids yeah I got kids yeah definitely and this is my kids first season guys uh they're gonna uh, play football this season and uh, definitely I'll be watching my kids actually I will be one of the coaches on the team so I'll definitely get a hands-on experience with my boys as well as um, with the head coach that's on the team but um I definitely think that, you know, the kids observing the game, understanding the game, know uh, the, uh, the pros and the cons of the game, the ins and outs of the game, is uh, something that I want to teach my boys because they okay. do like football okay. and they do understand that you can get hurt. And they, they understand these things, but I won't force my kids to go into that direction, but if they want to play football, yes, I say, you know, you know go ahead and do what you want to do. But uh, definitely, man, I definitely think right now, for the kids, you want to make sure that they observe and absorb the knowledge of the game of football. Okay, okay. you know what? Hey, thanks, thanks for, for that. And yes. the person that basically, I hope that you out there listening to us, yes, that asked that guys. question. Uh, I hope you got enough, basically, actually, to to make that decision. But if there's anybody out there yes. that has questions that want to talk about something, yeah. our questions for us, we'll be glad to answer that as best as we can yes. with our skill set and our knowledge and the peoples that we know. So, TA. G Short wow. is saying, hey, hey, dropping the mic. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, so, you know, we, we just want to thank you guys for listening to the first couple volumes of uh, Raw and Uncut. We appreciate all of you guys as uh, supporters of this uh, broadcast and this podcast show. Um, we appreciate uh, the subs that have been subbing us up on Noble Sports Entertainment. We, uh, we appreciate you guys that have hit us up on the website. We appreciate everything that you guys do because without you guys, it's not, it's no us. That's, that's and we, the, exactly. And we can't make this happen, right, G Shorty? Yeah, we can't call it Noble Sports. We can't call it Noble Sports. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. This is Noble Sports Entertainment, guys. Yes. So we definitely cannot call it that. But uh, definitely, man, um, this is going to be a great NFL season. We're going to be continuously coming to you with more I podcasting. I don't know about that when you try to get NFL season. Yeah, go, yeah, man. You know go ahead, gonna, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, because uh, we, we don't know who's going to make the playoffs yet, and that's going to be interesting. To find out how this thing is going to end. How is Matt Patricia going to do in Detroit? How is the other seven coaches that have taken over the other teams? What will they do for an encore this season? So it's crazy, guys. But, man, definitely, man, we appreciate you guys for listening to Open Mic Raw and Uncut. This is our sports podcast show. And we're going to continue to bring you nothing but fire and heat every week, every Saturday. Be looking you out for it, the baby. show. We looking out for the show. Is there anything else? Detroit? That's it. You dropping the mic on them? Dropping the mic. You dropping the mic? Walking out. You don't have anything else? <laughs> Nothing. Walking Come out. Come on, I man. Said, this is why I, 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 I said, the fans want more, I, man. I said what I had to say. I, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. here. Yes, sir. Clear the mic. Close the room. Cut the lights off.
It's wow. Done. Hey, I'm, I'm done. So, guys, man, I don't want to leave you guys, but definitely, guys, check us out. We're going to be coming to you guys with some of the latest, greatest material throughout the week as well. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. If you guys have anything that you want us to do for a show, please let us know, and we will uh, try to get that show in, and we'll try to talk about some of the topics that you as listeners want to listen to. So, guys, from here on out, we're about to get ready to sign out. This is Noble Sports Entertainment, and you know what we do on this show. We talk sports. Period. Period. <laughs>